Hey all and welcome back to New World. In today's video, I have the top 5 best weapon XP farms in the game that we know of so far, at least to get your new weapons ranked up quickly, or if you guys just want to get your main weapons ranked up to full so you can have the full skill tree loadout, I got you guys sorted. I'll start off with the first new characters, like 1 through 20. If I'm going to be honest, there's not many great options for you. It really kicks off from 20 and upwards, but if you guys want something, there is two spots that spawn an incredible amount of wolves. It's just ridiculous. I'm sure you guys have probably seen it as you're progressing. There's one just west or to the left of Everfall Town and just some below Windswood Town. I'll put them on the map so you guys can see. Just go there and you'll be able to get your first three levels so you get your first three abilities very quickly there. And honestly, the main way you're going to do it from 1 through 20 is just go through the main story, go through your side quests, go through your faction missions. Using the weapons that you want, you'll level up quick enough via that. It's just trying to find on-level weapons, uh, on-level uh, enemies to use those weapons on and you'll rank up quickly via that there's not many great farms until you hit 20 now a few key things that will help you get the most amount of weapon xp for any of these farms are just going throughout new world being in a group is huge now don't stress if you're a solo player a lot of people will be happy to squad up with randoms just so they have the group xp as well if you haven't been in one before essentially if you're in a group and in close proximity if anyone in the group gets a kill everyone gets weapon xp for that even if you didn't tag it which is awesome it makes leveling up so much easier so if you go to any of these farms and you're by yourself just ask around an area chat and be like yo anyone want to squad up for a group and go through this area you'll get a bunch of x uh, free xp you'll get xp off their kills and they'll get xp off your kills so it's kind of a win-win situation and plenty of people at least in my server from my experience have been very happy to squad up with solos or you know small groups joined together just to get more xp also you don't actually have to kill an enemy to get xp gain for it all you have to do is tag it enough times to be given credit for the kill Generally, two hits is enough for most weapons to be given credit for it if you're in a big pack and other people are finishing it off. If you tag it twice, it's generally enough to get given the weapon XP for it. And if you're trying to level up two weapons at the same time, for example, a life staff and a hatchet, if you tag him twice with a life staff, switch to the hatchet and hit him twice again, then somebody else finishes them off, you'll actually get weapon XP the same amount for the life staff and the hatchet, regardless of how many times you hit them, as long as you hit them enough to get credit for both, if that makes sense. So you can really maximize your leveling. If there are really strong enemies for some of the raids, you can switch to weapons if you're trying to do both at the same time. With that out of the way, let's jump into the first proper farm. It is the raids. Generally not a very sustainable farm, but the Amaran run in particular is really, really good because it's the first run. You only get one through three free keys to actually go do it, and the rest are very expensive to make. But because you get forced to go through it in your story, there is always a ton of people out the front asking for healers, tanks, DPS, any kind of build to join their group to go through the Amaran run for the first time. So if you're level 20 through honestly 30 or even a little bit higher, you can go through the Amaran run and get a bunch of regular XP, weapon XP because you're naturally in a group group as well as loot if you guys are on level four that as well it's always a really good one to do you'll help other out other people and you'll get free weapon xp via doing that as well next is a respawnable bosses there is heaps of them and a lot of them have different respawn rates dependent on how many people are in the area so there's a bunch that people currently know and are going to that the respawn rates are insane honestly a lot of them will get turned down because there's so many videos being made that a lot of people will see it and then new world will be like that's probably a little too high and crank it down a little bit but as you're playing through you'll notice that some respawnable bosses respawn very quickly particularly ones centered around the main story that a lot of people have to go to anyway and they're waiting to kill it for their main mission it was really slow in the beta and it was a main thing that a lot of people complained about so they turned it up depending on how many people are waiting so you didn't have a bunch of people just camping them and then the people who were trying to do the mission couldn't do it so they turned it up which results in you can farm the boss for a crazy amount of weapon XP, regular XP, as well as loot. For example, the first one that I noticed is Ezra, which you have to kill to forge your life stuff in the main story around about level 20. You'll find a lot of people, a lot of, uh, sorry, main bosses that are lack that. If there is a bunch of people waiting there, the respawn timer is lower, so they'll respawn quicker. You can just farm them on a loop. There is a bunch. I'm not going to name them all. You'll just find them as you're going through the main story because if I name them all, they'll probably turn them down a little bit. But the other ones that uh, people have already mentioned and I'm almost certain they're getting turned down the second they find time to get to them is the lodestone bear cave it is being put in a bunch of different videos it's actually how i found out about it it is in monarch's bluff i'll show it on the uh screen right now it is dependent on server it's not actually not a broken farm by any means if you're the only one there it respawns maybe one every two minutes which is pretty average for a bear cave but if you have a group or if people in your server know about it 
it can respawn like crazy. If you have like, I don't know, six people there, you can have it constantly spawn. As soon as the bear drops down, another one spawns and it results in the whole cave being lit up with bears. You get a bunch of weapon XP as well as you can get your skinning absolutely cranked. You can get a bunch of leather, a bunch of food, all that good stuff. So pretty much just look out for respawnable bosses or if you have a group, you're pretty much set because you can just walk up to an area and you are the reason that the respawn timer has dropped down to the ground. If you're solo, you'll find it a little bit harder. You kind of have to stick to the areas where your server community knows about, has crazy respawn timers and just go hang out there like the Lodestone Bear Cave is pretty well known at this point. The next one is by far my favorite one, probably the most efficient one and definitely the most legitimate way about doing it. It is Elite Zones. It does not respawn timers. It is not camping one boss it's actually like a challenge run pretty much like a raid but it doesn't require a key to get in it you kind of just rock up to the place and go in if you'd like the first one is at level 25 it's in monarch's bluff bottom left hand side it is called dead man's cove there's also a bunch of other ones at different levels as well but the first one monarch's bluff uh, you can go in a little bit under leveled if you have a crew do not go solo if you are solo You can stand out the front and kind of just hang about and see if there's other people that are doing the same thing If you're at peak time, there's pretty much always people there waiting doing the same thing You're doing looking for a group to squad up with plus you get a bunch of XP via being in a group with those people uh, You pretty much just walk in there is absolutely tons tons of elite uh, Enemies and you just take them all out you get a bunch of weapon XP via doing that you get a bunch of loot as well and You pretty much just run in for the dead man's cove you just run a giant circle of the cave and the spawn timer is that good on those enemies you can just do a circle constantly with the group we i've been through it with like five people up to 20 people and they just obliterate them all as a pack and you guys all get a bunch of xp via doing it i got my hatchet up to level 10 or honestly even more in about an hour or two which is insanely quick compared to anything else that i have uh, actually tried to do and that was on stream so you probably do it faster than i did as well like i said there's different ones at other levels as well at level 40 there's one in weaver's fen called Periville, i think is how you pronounce it and there's one in cutler's keys bottom right hand side called stone skull fort you can do those ones those are really good i did weaver's fen one today at like level 37 and i was pretty chill taking on uh enemies solo but if there's other people there again xp for being in a group and just a little bit easier you can take on multiple enemies enemies at the same time there's also one at level 50 i'm not there yet but i have seen one called scorpius and it has been recommended it is uh in morningdale top right hand side of the map that is apparently really good for um leveling weapon xp if you guys are already higher level than me as well which if you are damn you playing a lot of hours the final one i just kind of have to put this in here because it's so incredibly busted it is so so quick so if you guys want a actual broken farm go to this one it's in restless shore it's called boar's holm i think is how you pronounce it and essentially it's a little camp that just spawns boars from like four or five different spawn points like crazy you can just take out five pigs at the same time get a bunch of weapon xp get a bunch of loot because there's also a boss ball there as well it is a level 40 zone but we did sneak in a level 20 and a level 30 uh player on stream last night in our group so if you have lower player people in your group you can sneak them in there if you are careful set a campfire nearby in case to get yeeted uh but it is absolutely busted there is so many pigs that spawn on repeat they're really high level do aoe damage you can just tag them all really really quickly there's likely going to be a bunch of people there because this has been on multiple videos i just thought i'd mention here as well also if you are on level like myself i had skinning up to like 75 from there you have busted skinning xp if you skin the balls it's like one full level of skinning each time i stopped doing it because it was that broken and i didn't want to just like absolutely ruin my stats i just want to i just want to chill a little bit but if you guys don't care and want to get to 200 skinning you'd probably do it in like an hour or two it's absolutely ridiculous as long as you have at least 75 before going in there and you get a ton of food by doing that as well but i thought i'd chuck it in there it's that ridiculous i could not tell you guys about it and that was the top five best weapon xp farms in the game they're all insane i hope you guys found the video helpful if you did don't forget to smash subscribe for more new world videos feel free to check us out on a twitch link down below we stream over there every night playing a bunch of new world i hope you guys have a fantastic day catch you guys in the next video and a live stream till then adios